I will never forget the moments that forged me into who I am now. The friends that I made along the way. I leave my hometown in Alec Cat and Carter's capable hands. But there will always be a part of me looking out for the injustices in the world. To stop those who would harm others. I will always be a member of the gathering. Hello everyone, uh, this is a little extra bit I've decided to do while showing you off the concept promo for The Gathering. So, personally honest, I wanted to show you some of the scenes that we actually filmed for The Gathering before I decided that, yeah, two movies was enough three was just a bit beyond us at the time and where as I was developing the script I was realizing I'm not sure I was fully capable of developing this film but what's interesting about the gathering is uh, there's there's a t there's a five year time jump between let's say the object and the object legacy and the businessman gets very close to that point it gets into about the year four or five mark uh, and basically the gathering was going to pick right up from the ending of the businessman literally one of the first things you would have seen was Seth sitting opposite Jack and Jack basically telling Seth to get lost basically he didn't want to be part of the warriors he wanted nothing to do with him but before that we'd have seen like a quick montage of our main three characters would have revisited Jack being at the hospital being put on emergency bedding he's topping top being cut open uh, then we would see our other character Alec who is thrown out of a car bangs his head and loses his memory and then we'd see Kat our female protagonist who's just been released from prison I won't go into too much detail I just wanted to give you a bit of a background to the first scene we're going to show you which is quite early in the film this is after our three main characters have met up at the bar after Jack's told Seth to go away basically uh, and a robber comes in and decides to try and hold up the place um, for some reason these three random individuals Jack, Cat and Alec decide to defend this bar and beat up the robber so obviously those two those three have a bit of a conversation they're kind of not really into it at, at first and then this scene plays we get to see uh, our first glimpse of Mark's character Fred Davis who would have been a supporting character in this film uh, Fred and Fred and Seth would have been supporting characters for in this film and you would have seen because we've established as a bond between Jack and Seth and this film would have established that uh, the background in the background there this would have been the connection between Fred and Seth and how they got to know each other while Jack was doing his vigilante film so this is the first scene that we're going to show you I hope you enjoy and I'll be back with you after the next clip you last night. I leave you for five minutes and you pull a gun on an armed robber. Are you nuts? Fred, how the hell did you get into my house? I have a key, you stupid ass. Now stop trying to change the subject. Okay. Seriously, Jack, what the hell were you thinking? You could have got hurt. I already got hurt, Fred. There's not much else that could happen to me now. What? You mean you don't care if you live or die now? Seriously, Jack, you sicken me, and Carl will be ashamed of you now. Yeah. 
so as you saw with that scene uh, it was actually a part of it anyway was used in infiltration because one I wanted to use the scene for something because we, we I wanted uh, Fred to appear in infiltration in some form or another but what I need to say and precipice sorry uh, is most of these scenes will end up in object legacy because I didn't want these scenes to go to waste even though the film uh, it isn't happening any time soon but what I will say now is the events of the gathering even though they haven't been seen are still canon to the main storyline so around about the time Object Legacy is happening and the night of the event where Jeffrey and Andrew are meeting up Jack is meeting up with his vigilante friends and you have a few crossover scenes one of them being this scene here and obviously there's the phone call scene where uh, Jack's on the phone to Andrew and Andrew's obviously with Jeff at the time and then Seth ta starts talking about the prophecy and these scenes would have crossed over you would have seen snippets of part of it and the same with the fight scene afterwards where you've got this massive fight with, between Nathaniel and Seth while Jack's kind of in awe like what the hell is going on um, but the in the object legacy it was supposed to cut off saying well Jack goes kind of what do we do and then kind of cast uh, not Carl uh, Seth smiles but then obviously the scene then continues and obviously Seth goes well haven't you got other things to do and then that's where the gathering footage ki kicks in and I'm just like well yeah my groups investigated all this this and this so obviously that will now be part of the object legacy so we're trying to keep as much of this tangible connection to this story that hasn't been told and I may tell it in some form or another I might tell it as like a story time like a brief snob like the snobs is the film and read that out or I might do an audiobook version we'll see but ideally I will want it properly filmed at some point but maybe after we've had the uh, cast reboot which I'm still not sold on but it may become a fruition and obviously there's an, a couple of more scenes I want to show you there's obviously the scene where Jack orders and receives the first the, the gathering mass for the first time Jack Harper yes thank you So yes, that's the inspiration for Jack uh, essentially becoming the IT guy of the vigilant of the vigilante group at this point because you gotta remember at this point he's still in the wheelchair. This is before the reset after Andrew and Jeffrey have fixed time. So uh, and obviously I can I can say that because we've seen the shape of things to come. We know what happens, but we just don't know the context about it. So um, and then another scene, obviously, which was hinted at in in the promo reel. But is the, first, the like the last the beginnings of the last mission where Carter, played by Gareth Stone, and myself, uh, Jack, uh, played by me, obviously, uh, get to gear up and go to meet up with the other members of the gathering, which you will see in this scene here. Let's do this. 
Dr. Carter. So I hope you enjoyed these little sneak peeks of the gathering. Uh, I enjoyed making this film and I really wished we kind of pushed through with it, but it was too much. I mean, even now the script isn't 100% done. I can say that now, like 10 years later, uh, while we're still struggling to finish off the Object Legacy. and it was the right call to shelve the film and one day I hope to return to it in some for form or another because this story did happen that that's all I'll say we're in this little universe before Jack became a warrior he was a member of the gathering vigilantes and they're still out there that's all I'll say the gathering vigilantes is still out there and they are currently occupied in members by Alec Johnson, Cat Summers, Dr. Daniel Carter, uh, another member I won't mention at the moment because it might spoil something, and they are mentored from now on after the events of the gathering by Mr. Paul Myers. So I hope you enjoyed this little kind of a uh, what if like if this film had ever got made it's as I said the brief synopsis is it's three down in the luck people that have all kind of come out of the worst of their situations obviously Jack's lost his best friend he's lost his ability to use his legs Alec has lost his memories he doesn't know who he is cats just got out of prison and lost everything so these all these three characters kind of bond through that and this is that's the experience of what brings them together and obviously the threat of the film has connections to alex unknown memories as well as a connection to the suits because one thing i particularly wanted to do with the gathering was to remove as many supernatural elements as possible obviously there'd be a little because this is a supernatural world and we'd have to link some of it together but the idea was to make this more of an action vigilante film rather than a supernatural thing but there would have been elements that obviously the crossover with the object legacy because these were supposed to be the last two films and they were supposed to cross over and a lot of the scenes at the end like the the happy ending scene which still hasn't been filmed and it may never be filmed and uh even the bench scene which is in shape of things to come and object legacy where jack meets up with mr myers that was supposed to be part of uh, the gathering so now you get to see how the object legacy expanded because not only has it absorbed the listener short story at the beginning but it's now absorbed parts of the gathering throughout the film so i hope you enjoy the object legacy when it finally finally hits online when we get around to finishing it off and one day i hope to tell the full story of the first part of the trilogy of the gathering because they have many stories to go and while jack harper's away the team goes on to play trust me on that thank you very much this has been nicholas reed and i'll see you all soon bye